it feels wonderful to be here. You know, th these films take so long to make that you kind of forget that you even made them, you know? And so when they told me, oh, we're finally going to have a, an, a premiere, um, it was fun to think about finally giving it to the people it belongs to, you know? So I'm very excited to celebrate it tonight. I am proud, proud, proud and honored to be a part of it. Well, really, this, this movie is it's different than uh, live action because I'm just a voice. The real showcase is the art, you know, the illustration, the animation that has gone into it, which is incredibly stunning. So I'm just, I, I, I love having a small part of it. <laughs> it. It's surreal, and I have not just one, I have two movies. But this one is based on this fantastic book and like I said to my wife, I mean, if they can get even a fraction of this on screen, they're on a winner. Uh, but one thing that was great is they kept the look of the book. They didn't change the, the illustrations at all. And the music is great. It's, it's so, it's moving and it's thrilling and, uh, and unexpected things happen. Well, first of all, I would, I'm thrilled to, to be uh, involved with DreamWorks. I thought when Disney bought Star Wars, I thought, oh boy, I'm going to be in a Disney animated film. Still waiting. <laughs> It'll happen. We've got oh, Chris no. Anders right no, here. No, listen, I'm so grateful for what I have. I never look at other people and say, oh, I wish I had his job or whatever. I mean, I've been so lucky in this business. I have no room to complain. Well, that's the thing, you have to hit that sweet spot where you keep the kids engaged but don't bore the adults. And I remember when the kids were small, I took them to several children's films and suffered through them. I would never let on that, oh, that was brutal, because you don't want to, and they love them, of course. But when you come across a wild robot, it effortlessly appeals to ages across the board, and that's, that's quite an accomplishment. It feels great. It feels great to be part of uh, such an incredible cast and, um, and an amazing team. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's hard not to, to pinch yourself. No, we, we met in promotion for this film. I, I, I hadn't met anyone apart from Bill Nye. I got to do a, a, a short session with him, uh, but, which was awesome. But yeah, it's pretty, today's actually the first time where I'm meeting like, the kind of extended cast as well, so it's, it's pretty incredible. It's so much fun, yeah. Chris and, and Jeff and everyone involved was just so, um, it was just such a happy place to work, you know, coming in every, every once in a while for a couple of years, it was, it was awesome. Um, yeah, and it's just such a beautiful film, you know, and a, and a really lovely, joyful character, so can't complain. I feel really excited. I feel really, really excited to be here. Oh, I'm excited to hear the score in like full environs, you know? Um, and also to get to share this story and experience this story with a room full of people. It's how the movies were made to be seen, and I'm excited to, to get to be an audience member. It's pretty wild. It's, um, I'm really just grateful and happy and like excited that people love it as much as we do. Well, you know. <laughs> For the next one, I won't be a villain. But I don't know, it's kind of fun, too. It's, it's everybody, you know, yeah, it's kind of fun to, to like, let that, that steam out somewhere. Incredible, and also, I mean, Catherine, Mark, literal legends. Um, yeah, that's legendary, actually. It feels pretty wild. In my hometown. I know, and I was, I think I was at the first TIFF, and... And then so many after, and before I ever had a movie, or was involved in a movie that was at TIFF, and trying to horn in on the uh, parties, <laughs> trying to try to scam our way into the galas. That was I'm so excited. Yeah, and now uh, now I'm actually invited. Can't wait to see it. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I wasn't able to see it yet. I can't wait because the drawings uh, that Chris and Jeff showed me were so beautiful and so hand done. They've really brought the analog uh, back into with the CGI they, and all the tools that they now have to work with. They've also made it really, I don't want to say old school because it's not old, it's fresh, fresh, fresh analog. Yeah, it's really beautiful drawings. 
uh, really sweet and funny characters. All the scenes I've seen are just so good. And, and uh, Chris's direction was just lovely. And he made it so funny. He just really knew what he wanted. And he so loves every character. So it was a joy. But I, it was fun to do it. I know it was really fun. And I was trying to channel my mom, who raised seven kids. So yeah, yeah. And we didn't play. We actually did play Dead a few times. <laughs> so yeah, I was ready for this. It feels so full circle, like just you know, doing all the, the prep and the early screenings and then now I'm going to get to see like my music in this huge motion picture. Uh, the pressure's on. No, I, I have no pressure. I'm like, I just write the songs, but um, no, it's, it's a huge honor. And I think, you know, I've seen a lot of children's movies. I have a four-year-old, so when I saw the early screenings uh, for this movie, it, I, I could tell it was special. You can just tell when something's like hitting the mark in a different way. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's about resilience and like being not the best at something in the beginning, but then being able to work at something. And I think that's something children and adults should be reminded of. Children don't think of it as failing. They just think of it as like trying until something happens. But adults, like we get sort of in our heads and it's nice to sort of look through the eyes of a child. And I feel like this movie has helped me do that. Um, and then, you know, the music for a film, uh, with the score of this movie and then you know the two songs with you know my lyrics in it it's just I mean I've always been obsessed with soundtracks and scores and anything like Hans Zimmer or what have you it's like John Williams I think that it's just such an integral piece of the heartbeat of a film and um, paired with like the animation and how beautiful this movie is and it just looks like a painting I'm excited for people to see it. This is surreal. This is this is such a mix of crazy emotions. It's excitement. It's it's um, a little bit of anxiety. You know, this this has been just in our safe little bubble all this time, uh, and and this is the moment where we put it out and share it with the rest of the world. And and we hope that everybody feels the same way we do about it. I, I mean, I, I, we say this a lot. I mean, for me, this is the movie of my career, and I think a lot of people on the crew feel similarly. Um, uh, you, know, you can wait a long time for something like this, and sometimes it never materializes. But this book and this movie and this message and, and, and the character of Roz, who's so optimistic and so positive, and, and she changes everything around her. She, you know, she's changed by her environment, but she changes the environment of that world as well and, 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 force, and helps that animal uh, group of animals to become a community. Well, this is one of the first times where it is kind of the first time where we get the whole cast together. And, you know, because we work independently with them throughout the process and rarely do their paths cross until the very, very end. Um, so it's really, really special for us and exciting. And we're kind of geeking out ourselves that they're all in the same space at the same time because we don't get to experience that very often. Chris, Chris is very much like Roz. He's he is eternally optimistic and positive, um, and he has this magical way of being able to uh, imbue his characters and imbue moments in the film and in the script with um, eloquence and beauty and and genuine emotion, not artificial uh, in any way or, or 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 saccharine, but genuine emotion. And I think that was his secret sauce in this. Mostly I just want to want to be in a room with a, hundreds of strangers and experience their experience, um, you know, and, and, and see what they feel about the film. I'm overwhelmed. I'm really excited. Um, I'm terrified. You know, we animators like to hide away and the, the reason we do what we do is because I think we are not good at this part of the whole thing. But I'm willing to do this because I am so proud of this film and I can't wait for it to come out. And the idea that this is it. This is like, it's today's, like we're, we're like cutting the ribbon and it's coming out. and. I'm absolutely, truly thrilled for people to see this. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. I mean, these, these films pull together artists and they become a family. Um, and we've been together for years making this and nobody wants to break up. We all want to stay together and we want to do another one. Um, yeah, this was, this was, and, and people adopted this film like I've never seen before. It means a lot, it, it really does. It, it, um, it matters, it matters. I mean, we worked so hard on it and, but it exceeded, like. One of the messages of the, of the movie is um, to exceed your programming. And I think we all exceeded our programming in making this. They broke the mold to make this. And I, I could not be more proud of everybody, every artist, every engineer that came together to make this. 
It's intimidating. Um, the book was an amazing book, so um, the translation from uh, page to screen was something that we took very, very seriously. And in order to do that, we did things differently. For example, there's about 50% of the dialogue these films would normally have. So the pace is good. It's a good pace. And, and we made changes so that it would feel like we're on Roz's journey. Um, so everything about this film, vibe-wise, is really and truly different. I'm, I'm thrilled. I couldn't... Uh... I never would have imagined my book would turn into all of this, you know, so it's pretty exciting for me. I couldn't have asked for anything more. I couldn't have hoped for nearly this much, um, but to the fact that so many amazing artists came together and worked so hard to create a real beautiful, special, unique movie is thrilling and humbling, and uh, I'm, just, I'm just honored to be, have been a part of it, you know. Yeah, we talked a lot about themes, you know, we talked about the, the theme of parenthood because Roz, this robot, becomes a parent during the course of this story and how unique a character that is, a robotic parent in the wilderness. And so, you know, but that's a, that's a theme that people can relate to. In a story about a robot stranded in the wilderness, we're talking about family and community and relationships. And I really emphasize those points to Chris and to Jeff, and I think it hit home, and they, they kind of took that baton and ran with it. And, 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 and you find those themes as just the, the heart and soul of the movie. So um, it was pretty exciting to have, see how those conversations really directly turned into a, the beautiful result that is this movie. Absolutely, you know, I didn't want to sugarcoat things for kids in the books. I wanted to talk about real subjects in a real way and be honest with them. But I didn't want to make it heavy or dark, so you've got to kind of balance it out with some humor, some funny characters, a lot of funny scenes. And that's another thing that really resonated with Chris and Jeff and like the artists was like getting that balance just right, you know? Like we don't want to talk down to kids and to these viewers and these readers. We want to be honest with them um, and have some tough moments. There's, this movie's going to make people cry too, just like the book does. Um, but there's so much fun also wrapped. It checks like every box, you know?